We're using Garagas mid. Yeah, I mean, it's extremely demanding to go pro. Like, you don't really have much free time. I mean, you do somewhat. I mean, my schedule for when I was playing pro it was like, wake up at like 10, uh, 11 a.m. Just like do whatever. Maybe place like some solo queue for a bit, shower, eat. And then like we have like our start of the day meeting at like 11.30, 11.45 a.m. And then we start scrims at 12 p.m. And then we scrim for five games, which usually goes on for about like five hours. Sometimes they can actually go on for shorter or longer. And then get our dinner at like 6 p.m. And then that's usually when like you you get your free time, right? Like after it's like 6 p.m. Assuming you don't have a match the next day. So then you like don't have to like do a draft meeting at night yeah you just like have free time after like 6 p.m but it's like for a lot of people including myself sometimes i just wouldn't have the energy to want to stream after i had just played five hours of scrims right and like usually i want to go to sleep by midnight so it's like okay we'll not have like six hours of free time what do i do like i'll just like watch like shows or something or just like chill do random stuff maybe play a bit of solo queue but like i wouldn't really stream because i've already put so much energy into scrims like the the previous five hours right just like very demanding to go pro Demands a lot of your time. I hate my life. He's so tilted. Why is it so hard for people just to not come in? For now we just keep farming. Honestly, I kind of grieved by going Triumph to ask this game. I should have went absolute focus in Gathering Storm. I was just looking at the Lilia and the Maokai and the Kayla and I was like, hmm, Nasty might actually be good here. But in reality, I'm just going to build Zhonya's this game anyways. So, like, I'm just going to Zhonya's the Lilia sleep. Why do I need Tenacity? What's this f***ing character, dude? Nice. Alright, now we're actually spiked. We have 5 stacks and we're relentless too. Look, we're at 410 movement speed with regular boots. I don't do anything. I could have gone a Penta if my champ wasn't dog sh It's fine. Put the source here. Oh yeah. No, my champ's very good. Okay, I gotta stop saying that. But guys, just keep in mind, Katarina will be like this next patch. 
Okay, patch 11.2. This is what Kyra's gonna be like pretty much because they're just nerfing Kraken, so it's not really good to go the AD build anymore. If anything, you would go like Bork Rush into some AP item or just full AP like this. But this is what full AP looks like. I don't do anything, literally. I, I'm 10 kills, but I feel like last, like I'm last season, no score line. Like I, I'm like just at Gunblade, you know? Like I think they really have to buff Kaz AP ratios after they change the uh, Kraken thing. Glad we're taking the kills. So the change with Kraken is just like for on hit effect champions. So it's like nerfed on like Urgot W for example and Katarina R. It's 25% as effective. So you're doing a fourth of the damage guys that you should be doing. Ah, <sighs> at least AP does some stuff once you have a few items. But it's more about getting there. It's just like hard to actually get items as Katarina now. But it's hard to get gold, hard to get kills. You have no agency in lane when you're going AP pretty much. Cringe. Cringe. Really a shot there. Got my void. Nice. 40k damage, 29 minutes, not bad, not bad. Don't look at my win rate. Don't comment on this, you assholes, please. Don't comment on my win rate, it's not my fault. My team ints me every game. Shut your stupid- I would start eating this lane, but I would lose the level 1 really hard because he just has phase rush. Got all 3 CS with 1Q, kinda lit. The first couple levels against Syndra is like kinda rough if they just play it like a human being. Just need to wait for the right opportunity to actually go in. Like this. Good trade. He loses like half his HP. I got hit by one auto attack. Start maxing E, ping for my jungle. I kinda just wanna crash this and just keep pinging.
Him with an E auto, that's all we can really do there. They're gonna keep going, we should fight. Nice one, guys. Guys, he flames me all the time, so I just do that for fun. He gets tilted. He has a mental block versus Smith. Oh, he's gonna toss the sapling. No, gotta go mid. I don't wanna miss too much CS here. Plus, she just cleared the wave now, and I think she's too afraid to walk in because she'll die. I beat her 1v1 really hard. Considering I'm about to be six. Just clear the entire wave, try to cancel her. Nice. For some reason, she's scared of me there when I have no CDs and she knows it. Just do this. My Q doesn't really do anything to the back line, but I'm just doing this to zone him early. Because we can just do like stuff like that. We don't have to do anything right now. This wave's gonna be pushing into me, and I have my Bork in 500 gold. Less than that. Oh, he's so tilted. Wait, he's actually too good. He fucking buffered his- Dude, he didn't even try to do that, by the way. Man, I'm tilted. I have my Merc Treads now, though, so I should be like pretty unkillable this game. Actually, that's a joke. I'm still very killable this game. Nah, man. Oh yeah, no. I forgot the bed as well. So they can just do that if they want to. I need Starax next item for sure. It's the only way I'll survive this game. I have my Kraken now though, so as long as they don't get one shot like that, just from their CC, then it's pretty much GG. Lol. There's no way I don't kill him then, right? Dude, Kaisa does so much damage. Good thing we have Zack though, which does even more damage than me and Kaisa combined for some reason. I'm not here. I prefer if we don't fight and lose the game. Oh my god, this inter missed on a Zack that's e That was so weird.
That was close. I bad that fight. Oh, my Zach's kind of smurfing. Yo, brawl him, guys. Bye. Now what I build? Oh, collector. You see, I like kind of into that fight by just walking into the wall with Poppy like next to me, and I still managed to survive just because I have Sterax. I'm not gonna lie, if that Leona R had came down sooner, I literally get a quadruple kill, but she wasn't paying attention. Sometimes you just can't go for high risk, high reward plays. Nice solo queue. It's okay. Just don't fight here, wait for our trucks, just give this tower, it's fine. Nice. Actually, wait. Uh, yo, Jensen, editor. What the hell do you want anyway? Hurry up, I'm busy. Let me just do a different reaction. You can, like, replace the cam. Holy sh That was the best quad kill ever. I can't focus, man. You just won the game. I'm so good. Oh my god. There, just edit that in instead. Because I was told by my girlfriend I don't do anything cool. So. <laughs> nice. We won. <laughs> Much damage. 47.5k in 31 minutes. Not bad.